Gangs around Doherty County are recruiting members you may not expect. Fox 31 Sean Stryker connects you with who they're targeting and why. There's no question gangs are a problem around Doherty County. What's more troubling, however, is the declining age of new gang members. The gangs is a huge problem with our juveniles here in Doherty County. Uh, what we're seeing now is a trend where adults are recruiting children who are a lot younger. Representatives from the Albany Gang Unit say these kids are susceptible to joining gangs because they aren't getting enough attention at home and they want to feel a part of something. It's not just boys joining these gangs. Officials say they're finding more and more girls getting involved as well. It's the same thing as a guy. They do the same thing to get in, to prove you know, their loyalty, they prove they're down, they do the same, just as much as a guy would do. I find them committing crimes just like the boys are. Uh, they're being just as violent. Sometimes the adult gang leaders are behind these violent acts. The gangs are committing more violent crimes at the behest of these adults. Uh, they are committing crimes in larger groups. If these crimes are determined to be gang related, the juvenile's maximum sentence can be bumped from 30 days up to five years, depending on the act. What makes it hard to prosecute gang-related crimes is finding witnesses who are willing to talk. Uh, a lot of times it's because they're afraid uh, what the gang members will do to them uh, because they are getting more violent. If a witness is being threatened, there are ways to protect them, such as obtaining a restraining order through the court system. Sean Stryker, Fox 31 News.